you tell us about your work and how the show is going here? Well, we've had lots of visitors who seem to be very interested, and uh, particularly today, lots of students, and they are our lifeblood. I mean, we need to really encourage the students to be really get the bug, and get yes. passionate about all of this, and they're actually being taught by their art lessons. So they're coming to it by drawing and sketching and being excited by surfaces. And my work is to do with Australia in this particular instance. I think also this um, called double vision. We wanted people to understand that you can see the same things, but we see them as individuals. And so we both looked at Australia, but the way we choose to depict it is completely different. There is so much scope for individuality, and that's what the point of this show was, and having that title. The piece here was inspired by uh, Ayers Rock in uh, Australia, where the colour is just stunning, and I'm really passionate about colour. And I've just built up all the surfaces and tried to get it as rich as I can. Mm. Are there young people here at the show? Are your students including young people? Uh, our particular students are mature students who really want to come back into education and to really do things they probably wanted to do when they were younger. And that's what we try and encourage. But we had a lot of young students, 15, 16, 17, 18 year olds today, who really are really interested in asking very good questions, which have been a delight to answer. I think also they're really much more interested not just in the techniques, because we think that although the techniques are obviously interesting to people, what's more important is pursuing an idea and becoming passionate and involved with the subject. And I think that's what we hope the exhibition shows, because we both had a particular field, although Jag was very much landscape-based in, in an abstract way, mine is to do with pathways and pavements and carpets. And that's been a, a quite obsession for several years. So the work is um, a rolling program of ideas associated with a theme. We don't dart around all over the place. And that's what we were trying to say to them, that it's more important to get a passion for an idea and then find a way of doing it rather than being process-led. Um, I think the pathways can be, obviously, amazing pathways in Australia or other places we go to a bit to Alaska, but they can also just be straight outside your house in your neighbourhood, and we've both done a sort of series that are close to home. And this particular one is um, halfway outside my house, and I decided, because so many of us are interested in fabrics, I'd like a different way of presenting it. So this is presented as an installation, and each one of these is a different pathway that you can take from my house to another part of my town. And I've shown it as, as kind of like rolls of fabric that you can select. And I think of all the pieces of the show, for me, more people have been interested in this one, even though I thought it was a strange and slightly bizarre way of presenting things. My version of Close to Home was a, a very ordinary field that I pass almost every day. And I'm taken sketches and I walk through it when it's been snowing and it's uh, winter and it's now this is amazing uh, oil sea grape which takes your breath away when the colours really shine and sun shining and it's so luminous and that's what I wanted to capture so I put lots of little tiny snippets of whether it's scarf or bits of linen or bits of scrim and I apply, I apply them onto this, the soluble fabric and then I machine them all together and hope they link and then I hand stitch and I bead and I want to really make a very simple statement that is quite rich so from a distance it's very simple but when you get close to it there's more to look at. How many books are there? 22. And DVDs too.